Hey guys, how you doing? I was just thinking about what to speak about on this video. Um, a bit like my last video I did. And there's like 10 things that I think are so important that I would like to talk about in this video. And there are 10 things that I know that it will definitely help you and every single person will relate to this in one way or another. And, and some people might not agree with it, but I don't really care if people don't agree with it. That's the whole point of putting videos out and helping people and and overcoming the fears of what other people think and some a group of people will love what I'm going to say and another group of people won't. And I was just watching um, Alex Higgins, the snooker player, and I don't know if any of you know who Alex Higgins was, and I'm not sure how many of you like snooker. I grew up watching snooker with my dad and I've got kind of a love-hate relationship with snooker. It's a weird relationship because there's a part of me, if I'm being honest, that thinks snooker is... So it could be such a boring game to watch. It can bore you to death. Uh, especially some of the other, most of the snooker players, the modern day snooker players and, and the snooker players of old, who played such a slow style of snooker that's boring, it's predictable, it's monotonous, uh, it's meticulous, and it's, it's just not fun to watch for me personally. But you can still appreciate the talent, the patience, and the professionalism. But what made Alex Higgins different to all the other snooker players was Alex Higgins was different to everyone else. Alex Higgins had so much heart, and he's the most talented snooker player I've ever seen in my life. And I would even, I always say Ronnie O'Sullivan is like the best snooker player I've ever seen in my life and most talented. But it's so difficult because when I watch Alex Higgins, I changed my mind, I'm like, oh no, Alex Higgins is, is, is more exciting, it's more, and then you think, well Alex Higgins um, was around before Ronnie, Ronnie learned from Higgins, Ronnie O'Sullivan's whole style, and Jimmy Wright's style, it's all influenced from Alex Higgins, he was the pioneer of that style of snooker, which makes a game to a lot of people, I'm not saying everyone, it makes the game initially boring to watch. Most people who don't know about snooker are not going to be excited about watching men walking around with sticks, potting in balls, um, snooker balls in pockets. They're not going to get it. But obviously, when you understand snooker and the tactics and when you play snooker and the pressure that you're under and how it, when you're playing someone, it brings up your ego. It, you, even your best friend, if you play enough games of snooker, it gets you angry, you know, it brings out your competitiveness, it brings out your fears, your insecurities, you don't want to lose, you don't want to be humiliated. So it's amazing what snooker brings up when you actually play I played snooker. So Alex Higgins just brings a whole different energy. He comes into a sport where the average person would be bored. When he watches it, he makes it so exciting. And for me, that's what makes Alex Higgins so amazing amongst many other things. Another thing I could relate to Alex Higgins is he's not perfect. Um, obviously, God rest his soul now, he's not alive anymore, but he had alcohol problems. You know, he had emotional problems, he had depressions, uh, he had issues in relationships. So I can relate to Alex Higgins. Thank God I haven't had an alcohol problem, but I've had many problems in my life, emotional problems, addictions. I'm not perfect, no one is. But he had, But most of the other snooker players like a lot of people I've seen over the years on YouTube who put on, they're, they're fake. They're not honest about who they are and how they really feel. They only show a little bit. They only paint this picture. They only show their, they always show up and try and be perfect. And we all know deep down, no one is like that. No one is perfect all the time. No one is always happy. Don't care how much positive, optimistic thinking you're into a motivation. And I'm into all that stuff. And I teach part of that as well. And I believe in it. And it's, and it, and it helps and it works, but it, it fails most of the time, if people are being honest. So, Alex Higgins brings heart. Ronnie O'Sullivan, exactly the same. Obviously, I think Ronnie was influenced, and they're both amazing. And Ronnie's won more than Alex Higgins, so on paper he's achieved more. But Alex Higgins, is he's a daddy. He's the one that started all of it. And for me to go back now, we're in 2019, and be watching hours of Alex Higgins in 1980-83, and just to be mesmerised by it, I've just been watching hours of it, that's, that's a champion. 
you know, so, and he had many failures in his life, so he failed a lot, he succeeded, and I totally relate to that, that's how I feel about myself, I've been very successful in my life, and I've been a total failure, and I feel both, I feel like both, most of the time, if I'm being honest right now, I feel more like a failure um, than I do a success, and other people will see it different, and the facts actually prove I am successful, but how I actually feel at the moment emotionally is a bit of a failure I feel like I've underachieved because I know I could achieve a lot more but anyway I'll talk about um, some other stuff in a second so you know and it's the same with people like Tyson Fury it's almost like you watch Alex Higgins playing Snooki you watch Ronnie you watch Fury and when they when when they're on form these people are geniuses they're, they're they are so talented and sometimes you can't even relate to it because you're like, they're so good at it. How can you compete with someone like that? They're just perfect in every area. When you see Tyson Fury on form, um, the fight when he brought, beat Klitschko, especially when he fought Wilder, and he wasn't even his best shape when he fought Wilder. He came back after a mental breakdown, wanted to commit suicide, and put him on over 100 pounds. So really, he wasn't at his best, but he was amazing. And he got off the floor and he beat Wilder. And everyone knows he beat Wilder in the boxing match. Um, obviously the knockdowns were heavy and I don't even know how he got off the floor no one knows it's like, it's, that's like that's spooky but all the and that's why I'm like these people I'm drawn to them and if I'm being honest that's why sometimes I get angry and frustrated and I can't really I can't really build friendships with people that don't have that heart I just don't connect with them it doesn't it doesn't I don't I don't dislike anyone or hate people I just can't get along with people who lack cock, so I can't relate to it. And I think it's being a coward. So Alex Higgins was he, he was the full definition of the opposite of a, not a coward. He was he was so fucking brave on the snooker table, he didn't give a fuck. Like, if he misses one shot, he's lost the whole tournament. In the finals, he's taken on shots that every snooker player wouldn't take on. Apart from Ronnie O'Sullivan later on, but Ronnie wasn't around at that time when Alex Higgins, he was too young at that time. Alex Higgins is taking on shots that a, cr a crazy man w would take on. But that's what makes him so attractive and likeable. And most of the time, he's successful, he gets the shots. And he was losing, I think it was in 1983 or 85, he was in the finals against Steve Davis. For me personally, no disrespect, because now I feel bad to say it, because I don't, this Steve Davis has changed a lot. But Steve Davis was the most boring snooker player I ever watched in my life. I hated watching him play. Obviously he was, um, I think he was a six time champion. So you can't deny he was, you can't deny he was a champion, he was great. But his style was like, uh, so boring. It made me depressed, you know? And that's just being honest. And Alex Higgins is complete opposite. He's so exciting to watch. You just, every shot he takes, you just, you can't stop staring at the screen watching him. And he, and he got this kind of thing that I relate to where he has like a nervous type confident personality. He's a little bit socially, he, he's a bit socially different and awkward. And I, I totally feel like that about myself, regardless of what people think about me or they think, oh no, you're really confident, you're not awkward. Deep down, that's how I was when I was younger. I've worked on myself, I've changed, I've built all this confidence up and it's very genuine. But I'm like that, I'm like nervous, awkward, but I'm very confident. I've got, I've got loads of balls and courage. And I'm not giving it the big or trying to act like a tough guy. I'm only saying what is true. And that's why I built my success, what people love about Johnny Berber. I know they like that about me, because that's what I like about myself. Um, but yeah, I'll be honest, there's lots of things about myself that I don't like. There's certain things that I'm embarrassed about and I'm angry about. And I don't like certain things about my personality and I'm trying so hard to change them. And, and it's been a battle for years, my own low self-esteem. But I have that other side, that confidence, that genuine confidence and strength and courage. And people admire that. that built me a, that's built me a global following. That's made me a living over the years, made me money. It's that, that, that courage changed, has changed people's lives. So sometimes when I do think, because I'm only human, why do I make the YouTube videos? Why am I doing all this? Why am I putting myself out there? Why am I going through all this anxiety and breaking my back to help other people? And it's because it, it's I love to do it. And sometimes you don't love to do it. I don't always enjoy it. 
because so even what you love and, and you're passionate about and you generally love it from your heart, sometimes you don't want to do it, you don't feel like it. I don't almost feel like teaching people and then inspiring people. I feel, I'm tired, I'm scared, I'm human, I'm, I'm exhausted. But on, you know, on the grand scheme of things, when you look at someone's life throughout the start to the finish, hopefully mine's going to go on for a bit longer, it's like most of it I did, I loved it. And people can feel it, it's genuine, you can't fake that. And if you try and fake that, I think people see that, they sense that. Or if they don't sense it, people are very stupid and naive, and I'm not stupid and naive. And I'm, 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 I know you guys are not who follow my channel. Most of you are not stupid people. And that's why I, I, um, I've got a lot of respect for you. So, you know, that's why I've connected with it. It's not so much... I do enjoy snooker, and I, I've, I, I love watching Ronnie O'Sullivan's. I've watched Ronnie O'Sullivan for years. Because um, Alex Higgins wasn't really in my era. I, I was born in 83. So I learned about Alex Higgins from my dad. Uh, that was like you know, like secondary learning. And then my dad showed me the tapes, the shots. And, I, and then I've gone on and watched it. My dad gone online watched it myself. And I'm like, this guy's amazing. Because I understand snooker. I played it. And it's a hard sport. It's, it, you have to be mentally strong. And there are situations. It's going to be crazy. It's like, I feel so emotional today. Passionate. You know, a lot of you guys are scared to approach me on the street, and that's originally why I became successful. And people love me around the world, and they got I changed people's lives through my teaching. Me, I demonstrated William Phil videos, and I and sometimes I forget because I'm hard on myself. It's very I can't give myself credit all the time. This is what we're all teachers are like. This we're very good at teaching other people and giving them praise and being compassionate and and really meaning it. This is not fake. This is completely genuine. But when it comes to ourselves, sometimes it's hard to give myself that love. It's so difficult. There's so much toughness to break down because of not wanting to be weak and wanting to be strong. And part of me thinks it's never good enough what I achieve because I, I'm so hard on myself. Perfectionist mindset. You know, if someone, if, if most people would achieve what I've achieved, I would say they're fantastic. And I mean it. It's not fake. And the reason why I'm saying it's not fake a lot in this video because I, I was always frustrated with fakeness growing up. I didn't like it in people. And I didn't like it in myself. I called myself out on it. And I like to believe that I'm not a fake person. I'm very genuine. And there's a lot of fake people out there. There is. And I'm trying to be compassionate and understand. They're only like that because they're frightened and scared. I'm frightened and scared. We all are. But they're more frightened and scared. They ain't got that heart and courage yet. They just can't execute that courage. And that's what courage is. It's when you are frightened and scared. You have got self-doubt. You have got low self-esteem. You do doubt yourself, but the courage, the courage overcomes all that bollocks, and and then that's what makes you successful, and that's what makes Higgins a champion. Even though some the snooker players that are more emotionally balanced, they were more stable. They didn't have all of the mental health. They had mental health. Everyone's great, but not as bad as Alex Higgins. They're not going to be remembered like he is. They might have won the championship six times. He only won the world championship twice. Now, based on how talented the man was, on many levels, he underachieved. But obviously, his own demons. But I don't, I don't care about the amount of torments. It's who he was as a person, how he played, how he makes me feel when I watch him. He makes me cry. How can a snooker player make me cry? I'm a grown man. What? It's ridiculous. But it's not. It's because the heart of the man, the champion, it gets through to you. That smashes through your male ego. Tyson Fury, another one. And, I know, and I'm not saying this to be big-headed, and I don't think like that, oh, I put the video out and make people cry, but I know a lot of people cry when they watch my videos because they can feel I'm a very genuine person who comes from their heart, and, I'm, and they know I'm not perfect, but I'm very talented, and I'm, I'm that complete human contradiction. I've always battled with my issues. I've always struggled. I've struggled my whole life with low self-esteem. But... And then you say that, people think, oh, is he not confident? It's like, no, but I am confident. The confidence is the confidence is completely genuine, as the low self-esteem part of me is. It's a battle, two people. And the battle goes on, and it, I know it's going to be like to the day I die, and that's, but that's what makes me Johnny Verver. That's what, that's what sells it to people. And, then, and then there's a lot of people that don't like me, and who cares? You're never going to be liked by anyone, and Alex Higgins wasn't liked by everyone, but they look people's champion. So, sorry, my point, when you're in a situation where you're really attracted to a woman and you fancy her, and you're so frightened to talk to her, we've all been there, 
I've been coaching guys for years. I've seen this scenario. I've, I'm, it's like not, I'm so used to it now. But being compassionate, if that's your first time in that situation with a woman, when you're sitting in a hotel, you're ordering some food and the waitress comes over and you're like, oh my God, I just, she's so beautiful. I, I just want her to be my girlfriend straight away. That's how most guys think, if they're being honest. Oh man, I love her. Oh, I wish she'd like me. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, she's going to have a boyfriend. Oh man, I'm... Oh, all my dirty secrets, all my insecurities, all my issues, all my financial problems. I don't have this. I don't have my own place. I have money. She would never date a loser like me. Oh, God. But to have the heart to, to, to override all that and say, I'm not having that. I'm, I'm, not, ha I'm, not, I'm not having this bullshit. I'm not, I don't care about that stuff. I'm my, I'm, I know who I am as a person. I'm a good person. I've got every shot in getting it. Why wouldn't she like me? I'm, lo I'm a lovely guy once she gets down with me. I'm... I, I'm someone who could really love her. So, and then you go, excuse me, you know, however you say it, nervous, stuttering, I like you, attractive, you know, where are you from? Will you go out of me? That is hot. When that is, that's worth a billion pounds, but most people don't have it. They do have it. They, they ain't got the bollocks to do it. And they're usually the fake ones who act like they've got everything handled in their life. But the real hot people like myself, we don't, we don't act like we've got everything handled, we're not struggling or we're not having challenges in life or we're not getting down. You know, the same way I don't hide it when I'm up. When I'm up, everyone knows it. You've seen me over the years. You guys have seen me top of the game, top in my industry, happy, successful. And you've seen me break down on I'm rock bottom again. I've been there, you know, and I'm battling my way back again to victory. So it's so inspiring when you see, because they're real people you can, and they're caring. These are good people. So good people are not perfect people, but no one is. So Alex Higgins encompasses all that, everything about that. And it's hard for me to give myself this credit because it feels strange to do it. And my mum always said, you shouldn't praise yourself. It's for other people to do it. But I'm just judging myself in a positive way and being honest about my, my flaws, which I've got so many things about myself that I don't like. But... I know I've got the heart and that's what people, and that's why a lot of my videos went viral. Uh, especially the one about um, the suicide when I was 25, it's got 127,000 views because I just told the truth on the video about how I felt and it's helped so many people around the world and I didn't even think about it at the time. So, you know, this is what I love doing. I love um, helping people and, and being honest and, and everything, all these things, all these things. All this stuff, the love, the heart, the courage, and uh, you know, and failing a lot as well, and telling other people it's all right to fail, because if you keep going, you will succeed. You will get the success in anything. It doesn't matter snooker, uh, or girlfriend, women, money, success, YouTube. If you've got the bollocks to put yourself out, and and face that fear, and get out on stage, and really commit to it, you want, then no, no one can do anything to you. And I, that's how I feel. And when I watch people like Alex Higgins, and not not just Alex Higgins, friends, you know, and it doesn't always have to be a celebrity as well to be inspiring. Because before Alex Higgins made it, he was a nobody. And I was a nobody. No one, none of you knew anything about me before I was on YouTube. I didn't even, if you saw me walking down the street, you wouldn't even look at me. Because I would... I wouldn't have that value because I wouldn't, wasn't famous then. So we all start from somewhere. I grew up in a council estate and Alex Higgins also came from a working class background. Um, so this is what I'm about. If people are trying to work out what is he about, what's his message, why does he make videos, is he a dating coach, is he a confidence coach, is he... It's not really about all that stuff, it's about this, about helping people um, with their confidence and their courage. And that's what I've always been fascinated with. And that's what I've, I love doing for people. I love helping people to get through their fears and to take action. And that could be with anything. It doesn't always have to be with women. I loved that for years. If I'm being quite honest now, I'm bored of it. I think people can tell that for the last three, four years. I've got bored of the dating coaching. It's, I've done it for so many years. It's not that challenging for me anymore to take a guy out and to teach him how to speak to women. It, and it... It's quite easy, so that's why I've talked about many other things. Um, and don't start panicking and worrying, guys, oh, that, oh, that means he's not going to do any dating coaching. I never said that. I'm still going to do some of it, and I have been. But I'm not. Um, back to into all videos, 
I'm probably never going to make infill videos again. And a lot of people go, oh, but because I just don't enjoy it no more. I don't enjoy doing the infill videos. And I remember Ronnie O'Sullivan for a period stopped playing snooker because he didn't enjoy it no more. I have to be honest with myself. Uh, and that takes heart, and it's all of its heart and courage. It's so much strength to go. The, if I put infill videos out, I know I get loads of views on YouTube. It makes a, it makes a lot of money. The infill videos have always made a lot of money, and it changes a lot. Of, and a lot of people are gonna love me and like me, and it makes me feel good. But I don't feel good if I put them out anymore. I just don't feel right about it. I, and the last couple of years, I haven't enjoyed it. That's so, that's real honesty. Before that, I loved doing the infill videos. I used to love going out. I'd, I'd spend hundreds of pounds on on with, on cameramen, my friend. Every video I'd go out and shoot, on average, was £100. It was £100 each infill video. It's not cheap. It adds up. But I loved paying it. I didn't care, but I just wanted the buzz of it. Getting out, getting the camera out, demonstrating, showing men how to speak to them with honesty. None of that bollocks. No tricks, lies, playing games with people. I hate all that stuff. I wanted to show how you do it with, from the heart. So I wanted to talk to women the way that Alex Higgins played snooker around the table. The way Tyson Fury boxes in the ring. It's beautiful, it's so honest, it's not playing games and hiding. But a lot of you that watch the channel, and I'm going to just speak my mind, you're scared to come out. You're, you're hiding, you're scared to be courageous, and that's why you're struggling in your life, in every area, with women, with everything. And that's why you come my, that's why you come on my channel. That's, why you, that's what you want from me, I know that. And it's, and it's such a pleasure for me to give that to people and share it then. And, and it takes and it takes balls for me to say, you know what, I'm not going to just go out and hire a cameraman and get all professional filming just to make everyone happy and like me. And I don't always feel right about it. I'm going to film it in my flat. It feels good right now. Now I love it. I get the sa I'm getting the same buzz now, an adrenaline rush, making a YouTube video in my flat when I've not long gone out of bed. I brush my teeth, but I, you can see I'm not all polished. Uh, I'm about to go to down to Tesco get some shopping. I'm going to um, hoover my flat. I just love it. I just feel connected to it. I feel really myself. I feel like I don't care what people think, and I'm not. There's no, there's no bollocks. So that's the buzz I get and make the video. That's personally my style. It might not be for everyone, because I've always wanted to be different, and I am different. So and this helps me with my issues. It always always helped me to help other people. It helps me to deal with my feelings of uh, feeling inadequate and not good enough and embarrassed and ashamed and all of the other crap and negative and like I've, it's not good enough for what I've achieved. But I will say this, and this is the gospel truth, I have had periods where I felt great about myself and I really felt good enough and it, genuinely I was happy and I was happy in every and I had everything in every area, lovely girlfriend, apartment, money, great relationship with my family, great relationship with my clients, everything going well, great mental health. I've been there and I'm so grateful um, for those times of happiness, but they, they don't last forever. Um, even after achieving everything, um, all the voices still came back that I originally had before I got the success. You're not good enough, you know, you could be more confident, you could have achieved more, that, you know, beating myself up, everyone relates to it, everyone has it. It's just a question of how people got the bollocks to be honest about it. So. You know, heart and courage doesn't cost anything. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if you're you've got no money or if you've got millions, because it's something so true, and people admire it and respect it. Because everyone knows how difficult it is to have that courage in the in the moment when you're scared, and when you watch Alex Higgins play snooker, he's sweating, and and you're you're sweating watching him because the the one mistake, game over, lost the championship, and. The shots that he did under the pressure and the circumstances that he was under, most snooker players that they have, they just get, they can't do it. They can't perform under pressure. So, a lot of men, they can read all these books and talk shit and, and go to seminars and say they're going to do this. I'm Jack the Lad. I'm going to do this and that, and I'm going to be a tough guy and I'm going to impress women. Yeah, that's all good and well. But when you get in a situation with a woman, they fall apart with fear. They can't do it. And I'm not taking the piss out of them. I'm just calling things out and saying that's the real truth. And then they need my help or someone else's because they just maybe they were not brought up uh, with a dad encouraging them or being hard pushing them. So they need some guidance and someone like me to tell them how it really is and to give them the honest truth. Someone who's been there and done it and wore the t-shirt.
and has had every single struggle that you've had right now and has still got struggles. We've all got struggles, believe me. I've got so many struggles right now, I'm scared to write them down on paper. I don't want to see them, read them. They're going to make me feel like I'm going to, oh God, the stress of it. <laughs> so, um, but that's why I've made these videos because it's like freedom when I do these videos. That's why I love YouTube. That's why I love doing the videos. I love teaching because it, it, it's like it makes other people feel free. And it totally, and I, listen, when I first started, I used to come on YouTube and 90% of the people used to make me feel not good enough. And I used to think, if I was in their position, I don't want to make people feel like that. When I become successful, I want to make people, I really want to make them feel they can do it and they are good enough. And I'm not better than them. And not make them feel like they've got to feel intimidated by me or like they're worthless compared to me. I don't want to make people feel like that. Because that's how I used to feel and that's not nice. So I like to think that, you know, as Chris Eubank said, I've already been successful, whatever happens even now, because I've won the hearts of people. I'm the people's champion in, in my industry. Yeah, there's people in my industry who have made more money than me, and they've had more media exposure, but it's not, it's, it's not, it's priceless to what I've done. Um, and I've done it in so many different ways, and, and it doesn't cost anything. In that sense, now this doesn't cost me. I'm filming on a camera. This cost me hundreds. <laughs> it cost me fucking hundreds of pounds filming, um, paying cameramen. But I don't regret. It. I'm just having a laugh, having a joke, not taking everything so serious. So it's a nice feeling when people write to me and say, "You know what? I was depressed. I was really down. And I come watch one of your videos, and I felt like I was spending time with you, and you really lifted me up. I felt better after." Or I watched one of your videos. And it just made something click in me. I was struggling with something for 15 years. And you said something in one of your videos. You talked about your social anxiety in your past or that you used to be shy and you couldn't make eye contact with people. And that's how I was. I, I, I related to that. And then you said how you overcome it. And then I've gone out and now I've got myself a girlfriend. And I'm so in love and I've got the perfect, I've got a great perfect person or the right person, sorry. So that's why you make the videos. Um, and if someone does that and, and then rightly show someone deserves to make money as well that being a consequence of hard work and being genuine you know and that's why it's crazy looking back when Alex Higgins was playing he was only getting £500 after winning a tournament that's nothing when you think how much value that he gave and today they get thousands and he was the one that brought money into snooker Snooker was in the well, snooker was in the dark. Snook, no one cared about snooker. No one knew it. Alex Higgins brought snooker to the television, and then the rest of the generation, like Ronnie O'Sullivan, that they all played that signature star, Jimmy White. So I'm very grateful for what that man gave to snooker, and that I can still. The man is not with us anymore. I can watch his videos now, and that man gives me that confidence and love. It makes me think. Come on, you know what I mean you got it in you, you know, because I have self-doubt as well. And it's ironic being what I've achieved. But I can teach a guy in six weeks who's got no confidence, I can build him up like that. I was gifted to do it. I don't even know how I do it. I don't even want to know because it, it it overwhelms me. But I can, that's my gift. I've been doing it for years, installing confidence in people, building confidence, encouraging people, especially the shy people. I relate. I'm standing. I am one of you. Shy, introverted, embarrassed, awkward, nervous. I am. That's me. That's me. But that's not really me. Once I come out of my shell. And that's not really you either. I'm a confident guy. Charming, charismatic, caring, intelligent. All those things. All those things once I get out of my shell. And that's all I've been trying to say to people for the last 10 years. You can do it. You can 100% do it. And the doubt is so strong sometimes. I'll even, I'll doubt this when I'm telling you. I will have self-doubt to tell you you can do it. But you know it's genuine in my set because you go, well, Johnny's done it. His students have done it. And I know there's a lot of contradictions in what I'm saying because it's like, well, one minute Johnny's saying he's confident and he's saying he's got low self-esteem and he's telling people they can do it and he's saying he's not sure. But I'm telling you the truth. That's how I feel. That is the truth. We're human. We're not perfect and we, we're contradictions. So that's why you'll see Tyson Fury successful, so confident, and then he'll, he'll break down. Because he's only human. We can only take so much. So we have to sort of... I don't even have a final answer. I haven't got all the fucking answers. I'm not trying to be smart-ass YouTuber who knows it. I haven't got every answer. Sometimes people email me. And they're like, long email like this long. And I'm reading it for it. They're like, can you tell me? The I don't even know how to have the answer, man. I'm sorry. All I can say right now, 
I'll give you a bit of love and encouragement, but you might have to go and get professional help. So I, I haven't got all the answers, but on some things I've got the answer and I'll give you the answer. If I haven't got the answer, I haven't got the answer for people. So, you know, it is challenging being a YouTuber and a teacher, but what isn't challenging? Not doing it is challenging, but the rewards are worth it. The rewards are always worth it to have that impact on people. Um, so I never imagined in my wildest dreams, and obviously I'm a small uh, compared to someone like Alex Higgins or Tyson Fury. But in my own, in my com comparing my, to myself to myself, I never knew I'd become famous when I was younger. I, I dreamed it, I thought about it, I fantasized about it, I used to obsess over. It. I'd love to be famous and be loved by people. I went out to go for all those conversations with myself when I was depressed, and then when it became true, uh, it was a great feeling. And then a little bit longer after, I felt a bit stressed out by it, a bit weird. I don't understand what, what's this fascination people have. I'm just a normal person. Why are people treating me? Why being nice to me all of a sudden? When they won't be nice to me when I wasn't famous. I had to go through these things. And that's what Alex Higgins went through. That's the story. That's, that's the hero's journey. So that's why I'm fascinated with these people. And that's why I'm not attracted to the bollocks. You won't see me watching. I'm not going to mention names. I don't like doing that. There's so there's too many names to mention. I won't follow them. I won't watch them. I don't want anything from them. They couldn't buy me out. They couldn't bribe me out. I got self respect. I got. I was brought up like that. I may not have much. We didn't have much growing up. But when you got courage and you got dignity and you got heart and love, you can't buy that from someone. You can't steal that from someone. So heart is everything. This video is about heart and courage. I want to inspire anyone that it can help. And I just. Um, I did the Fearless event yesterday, which is free. Uh, I'd like mentioning that because uh, I just feel good about it. I always feel good that I did it free, and um, I've been enjoying them uh, every year. And yesterday, I didn't really feel like doing it at the start because I feel just feel knackered and tired. But I still turned up and did it, and it was uh, yeah, it was all right. I, I felt it was it was decent. People enjoyed it, and I felt good about helping people. So it was nice to help people, and. Um, yeah, they're, they're, I think they're all the things that I, I wanted to say, and that's what I, that's why I'm fascinated with Alex Higgins because it's just that, and I'm fascinated with myself, fascinated with people, you, and I know you're fascinated with me because it's like, how can as how it's weird at people that we're we're so talented but we're also so insecure, but we're so confident, we're we're such a contradiction. I should put this video, you know, human beings are contradictions because we all are, you know, and. Um, but yeah, in regards to the infill videos, I think it's going to be very unlikely you're ever going to see me do one again. And if people want an explanation, then then let me know in the box below. And I'm, I might, I'm not being arrogant, if I feel like it, I'll do a video explaining in 30 minutes all the reasons why I don't do infill videos anymore. The real truth about why I've stopped doing them. And for a while... Even when I was doing them, I weren't enjoying it. And, and I was angry at myself for that, even though it was helping a lot of people. But when I first came on board, that's what made me as well. So I am grateful that people loved them and they helped so, and they helped me, helped everyone. They helped all of us, man. Because I was like one of the first people in the dating industry to, to stop talking crap about dating advice and, and talking shit. So I can get my frustrations out about how to attract women, all this crap lines and crap advice that's just destroying men and women and get a camera, a video camera out and show a decent person how to speak to them with honesty and, and to show success on camera, failure, all of it. I didn't, I didn't, I showed people all the truth and that's why people loved me and respected me and that's why a lot of people didn't like me and were angry. Tough luck. It's all part of the journey but it, I've grown as a person now. And those videos don't represent me anymore. So we, we grow up. I'm thirty, going to be 37. It doesn't represent me anymore. It's not who I am. But it used to be who I was. And, and at that time, it was true. It was right. It was, the, it was the right thing to do. That's life. So if people have got the ump about that, I can understand that. But that's something you're going to have to get over. And maybe it's a time where you're going to have to stop relying on me and my infill videos. And you, you look up to yourself. And go out and make it happen. And I don't need to make infill videos to change people's lives. It's one of the things that I realised for a while. I had a limiting belief. I was like, if I don't do infill videos, I can't get men in relationships. I can't get them over anxiety. But it's not true. I can do it just from the videos today. Because this, it's there. The teaching's there. The honesty's there. The experience is there. So 
And, and the Fearless event, that's the replacement for the infield videos. I, that's from my heart. I didn't even know I was going to say that. This is like therapy coming up. The new, the Fearless event, which is totally free. And bearing in mind, the infield videos are free. I never charged you guys for that. I could have charged you guys thousands for that. I could have been a billionaire by now. Maybe I should. Maybe I'm stupid. I'd put them all out for free. I actually paid for them. You guys didn't pay for them. I did. But again, you guys don't owe me anything. You didn't. I don't have a right to say, oh, you, I don't, I'm not, you don't owe me anything. I'm just telling the truth. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of part of me is going to miss me, but you still got them on the channel. I've taken a lot down. There's some that I've kept up on the channel that I felt at this moment are right to keep up. They're still helping people. They're evergreen. That's the word I learned. Someone told me, I don't really like that word. I don't know why I used it, but it's a marketing word, meaning that they're timeless. And it's true. So that makes me feel good. And Alex Higgins' videos are evergreen. Check out Alex Higgins' snooker videos if you don't like this. Just watch 10 seconds and you'll go, fuck, I've never seen someone play snooker like that. Pow, 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 fast. Walks around the table. He's, he's so charming and charismatic. He's different. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, I, I made the Phyllis event because it's like, right, let me do an event where I can actually get people in person and take them out in, in part and get them to speak to women. It's better, it's more powerful and it's free. So I suppose the infill videos is like the first level that people would meet me. And I know a lot of people would be scared to come and meet me in person. And I'm not a scary person at all because it's like meeting someone in person, social anxiety, I understand it, we all have it. But if you come meet me in person, you'll get over your fear, you'll probably have a, enjoy it. I'm a nice person. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. If you're genuine with me, I'm going to be genuine with you. If, you. if you come with a bad attitude and you try and take the piss, I'm, I'm not going to take any shit. Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fool, I'm not an idiot, but I am a decent person. So you'll enjoy meeting me and then you'll meet the other guys and then you'll build confidence from the Fearless event. But unfortunately, there's no more Fearless events till next year in January because the last one was yesterday. So uh, I appreciate all the support and I absolutely love the support for the infield videos that I did over the years. But yeah, I, especially in, in next year, it's just there's going to be a lot more videos and I can't tell you how it's all going to be one day at a time. Um, that's not to say that I won't do videos where I'm walking about in the street in public talking about how to meet women. But the days of me getting phone numbers on camera and kissing women on camera and going on dates, I'm too old for that. And, and I don't mean like, oh, it's not like ageism. So it's not like, listen, if you're 36, you're not too old. You can be 100. But I mean, I've matured. So in maturity, I, I've gone through that stage anymore. I don't need, that wouldn't do anything for me, that validation or, you know, and I've lived, I'll write a book one day and you'll know about my stories. I was a womanizer for, um, God, I was a womanizer for almost 10 years. And my final conclusion was, it doesn't make happy in the end. And that's another story for another video. Um, and I'll talk about what does make you happy. But I can, you know, it's just being uh, honest and truthful with how you feel and helping other people. So um, that's why lately people are wondering why is Johnny doing a lot of these videos in his room because it feels right and when it, the same way I would do the infield videos back in the day I would never have done these videos back in the day I wouldn't have liked these videos because I was a different person then I was in a different place can you understand what I'm saying and it probably wouldn't have had the impact and I know even though these videos at the moment and it is a little bit frustrating I'm only human I do think I deserve a lot more views they're not getting that many views but the impact is powerful so maybe 200 people will watch this video, but 200 people's lives will be changed, whereas 100,000 people might watch an infill video, but maybe, I, I mean, maybe 100,000 impact, but maybe only a couple really, really get that, they really get that um, that impact. So these videos are very impactful, and I've been speaking for almost 40 minutes now. Why am I rushing, actually? That's another limiting belief people talk crap about, and I'm all about crushing limiting beliefs in myself, people. People say, oh... If you make a YouTube video, you've got to talk fast because you don't lose interest. That's bollocks. Because if you're still in the video now, you've been following me for 40 minutes because I've got a lot of good things here and I'm fun to hang up, I'm fun to spend time with. So a lot of these things, I like cracking these myths and these um, so-called statements and beliefs, which I was doing in the dating industry from day one. So, and that's what Alex Higgins does. Oh, you can't play snooker like you, you fucking can play snooker like that. That's fucking bullshit. I've been hearing that all my life. I'm sick of it from people. Oh, you can't talk to a woman like that. You're too honest. They're not going to respect. It's crap. I've got the proof. You haven't. You've got no fucking balls. 
That's why you're saying I can't do it like that, because you can't do it. Because you haven't got the courage I have. Oh, you can't make YouTube videos like that. You're going to lose business. It's not professional. It's crap. It's crap. I've got so much business from making the video how I want to fucking make the video. Not how fucking you want me to make it. <laughs> I'm just getting my frustration out. So many times when you listen to other people, you don't follow your own heart. They, have, they lead you down the wrong path. All right. So, you know, these are just some of my frustrations. Um, so, you know what I mean? That's... It's just be real and it feels great. So if you um, if you like this video, and I think you will, if you don't, let me know in the comment below. But I don't even mind if no one comments on it. It doesn't make a difference to me because I enjoy doing the videos. I know it helps a lot of people. And I know that a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of people, there's so many people out there that watch my videos. And I understand it. I'm not judging them. They're too scared to comment. I understand, I, I understand that. They don't want their personal issues being put out. They might not be as open as me. And they don't want people knowing they're following a confidence or a dating coach or someone who helps people. But I, I know they appreciate me because they send me emails and, and just they watch the video. It's on the YouTube analytics. So I know that it's not like, oh, if someone doesn't comment, that doesn't mean they're not watching or they don't care. So it's not always about the more views you've got, the better you are. Sometimes it's so opposite. There's a lot of people on YouTube, no names mention it. No bitterness on my part, I'm just t talking things that a lot of people you learn later on in life. They've got loads of views, loads of followers, um, but they are, it's not honest, it's not very genuine, it's not really impacting people. It's all ego, it's, it's a lot of bollocks, but they're very good at marketing in that way. And that's fair enough, good luck to them, that's not my style, I couldn't live like that. And there's other people where they might not have, they might have no subscribers, or 500 or 100 subscribers, and they are changing people's lives. So it isn't, it ain't always, a, and I say the numbers don't lie. Well, the numbers sometimes do lie. It's not always about the amount. Because you, you, you could have 30 girlfriends. Do you think that's going to make you happy? It's probably going to put you in, in a suicide. That's too much. You know? So it's not always more is better. But I'm not saying I don't want to get a lot of views on my video. I'm just making a point of my, you know, you understand what I'm saying. Um, my, my point. So... Um, there you have it, alright, so become fearless, and, and, and I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is, and like I said, I will make videos in different locations right now, and it's, it feels, I've got, I've got to be honest, Frog, actually, I've got a lot more things to say, I was having a lot of stress for a couple of years about, I just had this feeling, and I, this is nothing on camera, man. This, again, you'll notice that I take personal responsibility. It's not blaming people. This is accountability. And this is a great character to help any champion. And while I'm helping you as I'm help going along, helping myself, and reflecting and learning from lessons and mentors and teachers, for a long time, it's almost like I had so much success working with the cameramen. And these guys... The, they know how much I appreciate them. I'm not going to have to keep saying I because I, I, they already know it. And I loved working them. But there was a period where something came up in me and I was like, I feel like when I'm going out doing videos with a camera, and sometimes, now I'm not saying this is true, no one else might, I feel like this is something, my own relationship myself. I feel like I'm hiding a little bit. There's a crutch because they're with me. And it's quite easy to be confident when someone's holding the camera who really supports you and makes you feel... And that's, a, that's actually a good thing cameramen do that. By the way, I'm, you know, I'm like an encyclopedia. That's what makes a great cameraman. Someone who makes their client or person feel great about themselves, comfortable, confident, safe, secure. That's what a leader does. But there's a point where I've got to do this on my own sometimes. So I feel like I need to, I need to get this out of my system. And I know I'd done that years ago when I was doing videos from a hostel, when I was staying in Paddington, and you guys are still following me, and I was in a terrible place back then, I was very depressed, and that's another video. So, at the moment, it, I like my new flat where I'm grateful where I'm staying, and I've really enjoyed this personal relationship, and it just feels, so, there's no one around, it's just me, there's no, there's no one here, I haven't got like, there's not, I've not got a girlfriend in the back, or ten celebrities in, in the next room, or, or friends, I'm just on my own with the camera and, and I it, I feel like it builds my bollocks doing this and helps people and I feel the connection um, and I'm enjoying the videos at this at this time. I will do more work with Cameron when I, when I feel the inspiration I'll do it and I've loved doing it. I've liked doing both actually. So 
Um, you know, that's my feelings on the infield videos and how I feel at this particular time and the videos and the YouTube channel and, and the direction that I'm going in or, or gone in. But originally, um, I was talking about Alex Higgins and, and, and anyone can be like that. You know, what I'm trying to say to people is, you know, because we take things, you don't have to be the extreme and compare yourself to a celebrity because before they were there, they were just normal like you. So you can do it in your life. You can be courageous in any, any area. That's the message. Become fearless. In YouTube, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve in your life? What are you frightened of? What are you passionate about? What is it you want to do? Go and do it. And I've been giving you all the help. And I gave you all the help for free. So if you get a lot of value, and just let me know. I know a lot of people do watch the videos that are longer. Because I'm talking sense. So, yeah, I just want to say, like, so it's so hard sometimes. Because there's so many feelings that we carry that we don't get out. And that's probably the lesson of today's video. As men. And I, I've got it as well, where... I feel things to say to people and I'm scared to say it because I don't, and they're all, and usually they're good things. So it's like, I want to say thanks to Alex Higgins, but then I don't want people to think that I'm trying to be cheesy or weird or get stuff from him and or disrespect him. I'm not. I'm just being a gentleman saying, I'm so grateful for how that man's made me feel and what he's gave me. And he's never met me before and he's not with us anymore, but obviously with us in spirit because watching his videos has lifted me out of feeling down or lonely and got me feeling good again. And I know my videos do that for other people. And I know, so let's just have a bit of gratitude and say thanks for people that, that help us. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, yeah, by the way, you know, making the videos of Nick, I've loved doing them. That's felt right. And making the videos of Adam, the boxing to fitness videos, that's felt right. And it's all been on the normal phone. So, um, I just go with the flow, man. All right, so become fearless. I will leave it as that.